Hey teacher friends, if you already know how to do gallery walk and you're just here for my content, it's in the description of the video. Feel free to use it. For those of you who are new to gallery walks, I will explain to you what they are, how they work, um, and how you can modify what I've already done to suit whatever it is that you're learning. So I did not create this concept, but I do use it because it's a way to get students up out of their seats, moving around, reading, writing, uh, maybe even more than that. So what you're gonna wanna do is create some materials that kind of go with what it is you're learning in class. So like right now, we are learning how to talk about what people are like maybe um, their age, we're looking at learning about family, we're learning how to use certain types of verbs. So I've created some things that kind of has some of those things in there. So they're gonna, students can read them and write them and practice them more. So uh, what you do is you hang up some pieces of information or posters or print offs around the classroom. I'll show you what right, I have. So right I've now. got this one about Mark Anthony and a little descriptive paragraph about um, you know what he's like. I've got uh, one over here about Frida Kahlo. I've got another one that's kind of over here, and it's about Jennifer Lopez and Shakira. Got one over here in the back, which is about Cesar Chavez. Got another one over here, and this one is about uh, two different baseball players. We got Roberto Clemente and Alex Rodriguez, and I got over here, and this one's about Angela Aguilar. So some of those I chose because we are, we've listened to some of Mark Anthony's music in class. We're actually gonna listen to a song, uh, La Llorona, from Angela Aguilar uh, next week. And um, it just kind of ties things together. Let me take a look at what I give the students. So look at this paper that has five questions on it. And what they're gonna do is right here answer the question, como se llama? So they put Mark Anthony, for example. Uh, como es, what's he like? So he's, he has, uh, I can't remember what I said, but I answered all these questions on there. Cuál es su profesión? So they'd say es músico or es artista. Again, these words are all in the description. Uh, what he likes, what he likes to do, and then what he does uh, are also all in there. So he'll answer these questions about four of the six papers that I'm hanging up. Two of them they don't need to go visit. So I kind of splits them up a little bit more and makes it so they're not all jammed together in one place at the same time. And one other thing I do is on the back, uh, I have a dots and boxes game. If you've never played that before, it's pretty simple. Basically students will, with a partner will take turns drawing lines connecting two dots. So I'll go and connect these two dots and their student will go and connect these two dots. Eventually you'll make a box. And then when you make a box, you get one point. And then when you know the answer in the box, or if you know the answer in the box, you get an addition. And point. I do that, the dots and boxes game, just to give them something else to do. Maybe they want to start with that while their classmates are up moving around. And then when their classmates are starting to finish up, they can get up and go start moving around. and. Um, filling out their papers and stuff. So that's gallery walk, gets them up out of their seats, uh, writing stuff down, reading, using the stuff that we're learning in class. And this, it works pretty well. The only thing that you gotta watch out for is some students will be super lazy and wanna just stay at their seat and not move. And they'll try and grab or copy off of a friend's paper who actually got up and did the work. That's the only challenge I have with it. So just be ever vigilant and uh, make sure you look out for those kids that are trying to get away with not doing anything at all. That's it. If you have questions, let me know. Adios.